As early as February of this year, Freedom Works uh, and conservative activists had actually signed something uh, called a coalition letter outlining their plan to use the fight over this, the continuing resolution to defund Obamacare. And here's where, where we get to the reason of, of why I called it a planned shutdown, because it absolutely was a planned shutdown, and this is why they're not giving up so easy. They did all this plotting and planning, at least for the last few months, to, you know, to figure out, hey, how, how do we fight the health care law? How do we deny Americans the ability to buy affordable health insurance? How do we do that? And, and what kind of hostage do we have to take? Right. And so this is what this uh, coalition letter was all about. Now, um, in this coalition letter, it said, the current continuing resolution funding the government expires on March 27th, setting up an opportunity for Congress and President Obama to honor the bipartisan sequester savings already agreed upon. It also presents an opportunity to achieve even more savings by defunding and stopping the implementation of Obamacare. So you here you've got, you know, a, a letter from Freedom Works and a lot of very prominent conservative activists, um, basically outlining their plans to, to, you know, to do to to do a government shutdown, just in order to defund the, the health care law. Now, right. They're not the only ones, though. There were some Catholic bishops that had also went against the health care law. Um, and had sent a letter to House Republicans as much as four days before the government shutdown. Now, in this letter, they said, quote, we have already urged you to enact the Health Care Conscience Rights Act. The letter, uh, as Congress considers the continuing resolution and debt ceiling bill in the days to come, we reaffirm to the vital importance of incorporating the policy of this bill into such must-pass legislation. So if you're wondering what exactly is the Healthcare Conscience Rights Act, well, according to Think Progress, they report that the Healthcare Conscience Rights Act permits religious employees to exclude any item or service to which they have a moral or religious objection from the health insurance package offered to employees. This is about birth control. This government shutdown is about Obamacare and birth control. How stupid is that? And it's it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I mean, we're living in the 21st century, and we're arguing about birth control of all things, and and, and the religious right, the religious right to deny other people of their rights, that is not a right that you know that you are deserving to have. I mean, where where does it end? Well, you can say you have a religious moral objection to pretty much anything. What if I was a boss in some company and I just decided that I had a religious moral objection to your heart medication? Can I then call your insurance company and say, hey, I don't want this guy's heart medication to be paid for? Because it do, it doesn't fall in line with my beliefs for for whatever ridiculous reasons that are just as valid as, as any other reason to object to birth right. control. This is I mean for the Catholic bishops this is ideological right you know it's all religious, but for an employer that doesn't want to pay for you know doesn't want to pay a higher premium so that they can cover certain things, they're going to just as you said they're going to claim. A, it's against my religion to pay for this. I mean to, to, to offer this. It's against my religion. And then they're just going to, you know, be able to yank it and save some money. So right. this is this is could this could be easily easily abused. Easily abused. But it's meant to be abused. They mean it to be abusive. Mm hmm They they put they want it there just so that they can take advantage of it. Of course. And you know, you just you, you see all these different groups that have basically waited for this moment, waited to, to try and take the government, you know, try, try to shut down the government, try to use the continuing resolution to get their way. And it's kind of amazing. Now, I know earlier I said, well, they like to take hostages, but I'm not really, I don't really like that terminology, to be honest with you, because I don't think it's much like taking a hostage, because when you take a hostage, 
you know, you take it so that you can get something in return. Then you're supposed to release the hostage, right? In this case, you're taking the hostage that you already want to kill or maim. Republicans hate government. These Tea Party people hate everything about the federal government. And so it's it's kind of weird, kind of ironic that they're taking the government hostage, the very thing that they want to kill, right? Grover Norquist says we want to shrink government to the point of where we can drown it in the bathtub. Right. And, you know, you, you, their whole intent was to maim government as much as they can. So they take the government hostage and, you know, in order to maim it and then demand concessions so they can maim it some more. Right. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. You know, this is just, it's just that the point is that this is exactly what they wanted. They're enjoying every minute of this government's shutdown. And, you know, things things that they want, you know, like their salaries and their, you know, um, their gym membership and whatever, that's safe. That's cool. You know, everything that, that they need. That's deemed essential. They, everything that they need or want is deemed essential and not included in the government's shutdown. So they're not affected one iota. The only thing, the only people who are being screwed over are the American people and the people who need these services, and also the government uh, employees, which are who are not being paid right now. Um, so they don't care. They do not care that the government is shut down. It's what they wanted the whole time, and it could go on probably for months and them not care, even though um, the American people will probably hate them and blame them more and more as time progresses. But they're so stupid they don't care about that either. Right, and, 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 and for example, some of the things, of course, that regular people rely on that these you know GOP congressmen don't is things like food inspection. You know that there's been a recent salmonella outbreak, outbreak? Because guess what? There's nobody up there inspecting your chicken. There's right. nobody out there inspecting your meat. Uh, I know that sounds dirty, but calm down, people. Calm down. And that's what they want. They they want to get rid of the EPA for good and the FDA for good and and uh, things like welfare, things like WIC, things like you know national park services and things that are protecting our land and keeping the air nice and clean and the water nice and fresh. It's keeping them from dumping their shit wherever they want to and and drilling wherever they want to and mm -hmm. Um, you know, and and why would they want the FDA? Because you know they're major corporate donors. They don't want inspectors down, you know, down their throats all the time. You know, better to do away with them. And they so they can go back and regulate themselves because right. it's cheaper. It saves them a whole ton of money not having to have basically any kind of safety standards for their food, for our food, because they don't eat that. You can be right, sure of course. They don't need that. Yeah, they they can afford to get the very best, cleanest, wonderful, fresh food that they they could they could import it from other countries if they want to. They don't care what affects us because it's never going to affect them. 